Have you ever dreamed of moving to Costa Rica, but you fear the unknown? I'm Rebecca Clower, owner of Blue Water Properties in Costa Rica, one of the top real estate and investment agencies in the country. I'm a dual citizen of Costa Rica and the USA, and I'm also a mom to two children. And like you, I had many questions about moving to Costa Rica and life in the tropics. This series is geared towards educating you on the ins and outs of Costa Rica living and what you should know before taking the plunge. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Clower of Blue Water Properties and today we're gonna to be talking about the five different ways to get your residency here in Costa Rica. The number one way to get your residency is by applying to be a rentista. A rentista is a temporary form of residency where if you can prove that you have $2,500 of income coming in for the last 24 months, you can get residency by being a rentista. The second way to get your residency here in Costa Rica is pensionado status. Pensionado status is a retiree status. So if you can prove that you make $1,000 a month via a social security payment or pension, then you can get your residency as a pensionado here in Costa Rica. The third way to get your residency here is inversionista status, also known as investor status. The beautiful thing about this status is actually the levels for it just recently got reduced. So if you purchase real estate or invest in a project over $150,000, you can also get your residency here in Costa Rica. In addition, they recently passed a law for any temporary statuses can import household goods and a vehicle free of charge. The fourth way to get your residency here in Costa Rica is by marrying a Costa Rican national. So if you happen to find your future husband or wife here in the country, that will also fast track you to immigration status of being a citizen. And the fifth way to get your residency here in Costa Rica is by having a child in Costa Rica. While I realize that not everybody is of childbearing age or wishes to do that, it is, however, a way to get residency here in Costa Rica. So some really great news is that Costa Rica actually just passed a law for digital nomads. So if you're one that's working remotely, you can work here in Costa Rica, apply to be a digital nomad. You'll be totally exempt from paying any taxes here in Costa Rica, and you don't have to leave the country for up to one year. So that's really great news and giving opportunities for those who want to experience Costa Rica and work abroad. Well, I hope you enjoyed the information on this episode of our tips and please do like this video and subscribe to our channel at Blue Water Properties. Take care.